I'm pretty sure you have seen this horn like thing on older aircraft. But what's the purpose of that? Hello Avgeeks, I'm Kuldeep and you're watching Aviation Wale. See, in the past, engines were not powerful enough to create thrust as well as to drive accessories. So the engineers come with an ingenious solution to drive vacuum instruments like attitude indicator and directional gyro with venturi tube. It is simple and effective way to create vacuum in expense of little bit of drag. It is basically a tube which has shape like an aerofoil. So when air passes through the tube at the choked point, velocity increases and pressure decreases just like upper part of wing. This choking is strategically placed at one third position from front and choking point is half of the intake means cross section reduced to three fourth. Hence, speed is 4 times that of intake and pressure is just 0.7 that of atmosphere. So, to harvest this vacuum, an additional small tube is placed at intake. This tube is placed at most downstream in the system. Here is a glance of the system. So, at very first, we have air filter, which is placed at somewhere in the cockpit. Then, we have attitude indicator, directional gyro and suction gauge all connected in parallel. Then further downstream we have pressure relief valve which let the pressure leak into system to adjust vacuum and the last most suction source or vacuum source in this case venturi tube. By the way today's aircraft use vacuum pump as vacuum source. Like any system the venturi tube had some pros and cons as well. Let's talk about the pros first. The very first advantage is there is no pump to break. Like I already told you, today's aircraft is just a vacuum pump and these pumps are prone to breakage. In Venturi, there are no moving parts to break. Second, these pumps are expensive and Venturi is cheaper as compared to pumps. Turning around to the cons, first of all, this thing won't work unless you start run up and gain speed. Although there are claims that says it works with propeller downstream, but I doubt. Even if it spins the gyro, it might not be at the full required RPM to rely on instrument. And the second one is the aircraft fitted with Venturi are limited to only VFR flying. Because Venturi can pick up ice and make instrument unusable and unreliable. That is it for this video. I hope you learned something from this video. If you do so, consider subscribing for similar videos. Until then, keep learning. Have a good day.